All right, hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. As always, focused on Bello Berry, because that's my main thing, you know, it's what I do. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about what uh, Bello Berry is going to be looking like in set 7. Uh, if you don't know, in set 7, we get a new leader in Red Dragon. But uh, the support Revolutionary Armies get is actually very limited. There's uh, literally uh, three cards. Uh, I think there might be one more, but uh, it's basically... Oh, not this. Uh, but there's uh, there's three cards at least. Uh, so there's some support coming for Bell Betty, And mainly, uh, we have Monkey D Dragon, the super rare. Uh, this card is an 8-cost uh, rush card with 9,000 power. And on play, give two of your Rested Dawn to, two of your, uh, to one of your leader or characters, right? So he basically costs six, right? He already, you know, pays for himself. And then when you boost him with Bell Betty's leader ability, he becomes a 12k rusher, uh, which is uh, pretty much, well, he's, it's the biggest rusher we've ever seen. And uh, considering he basically only costs six, right? That's uh, pretty nutty. Uh, luckily for me, on the simulator, they've also added the uh, five cost Sabo, uh, this promo Sabo here, which is uh, a 2k, right? So it's a five cost, 5,000 power, 2k counter, uh, activate main isn't that relevant, but uh, if you do uh, need to, you can put the top or bottom of your life card into your hand and then uh, give this character plus 1,000 power, uh, which it, it's going to come up against yellow where they have cards like uh, Gadatsu. So basically against like uh, yellow now, you can instead of going second, you can actually go first so that on your 5 dawn turn, you can play Sabo. And then take a life, and then, you know, they can't hit your four costs anymore. Uh, which could be pretty relevant, but mainly he's just a five, uh, 2k counter that you can play off of both Ivankov, you can play it off this Ivankov, and you can also just discard it for uh, your leader ability, right? So, uh, basically you have the same here package that you've always had. Uh, I've realized that I really like Cracker in this. Uh, basically, every... Uh, matchup that is against a five life leader becomes impossible if you don't have cracker uh, especially with reject now banned uh, you definitely need to play at least a couple of crackers i play a full playset but definitely you need to play a couple of them uh, other than that we play satori just really one of the one of the better 2k counters in the game uh, you could try to play this new uh, frankie right from set seven uh, it's a trigger that is draw one card, and then if you have one or less life, play this card. So, it's good, but it's not really going to be as relevant in, in this deck where you can't quite stack your life, where you can keep healing and stuff, because he's basically only going to have, right, two, two, he's going to have to be in your two last lives to actually get value, otherwise you're just cycling a card, and cycling a 2k isn't that relevant ever. Um, so I've opted out of Frankie for now. And instead of going with uh, Satori and Sabo. Uh, other than that, we do have uh, Onami. This is just a great card in, in any deck, in any yellow deck. But it works really well in Bello Betty, where you, out of nowhere, can swing pretty big swings. And uh, she also right, she also gives you a body, because she's also boostable. So for two, you get a 6k body, as well as you give something banish. And then she also has that good trigger that is basically the Thunderbolt trigger, right? It's KO a 5 cost or less... Uh, when she comes out of life, which can come in handy. Uh, actually saved my life a couple of times. Uh, so very relevant. Otherwise, it's just the staples here. Uh, and we're going to see if uh, we can do some work. All right. So let's hop into a couple games. All right. We're up against Red Green Law. Uh, interesting matchup. Uh, this hand is interesting. I think we're going to keep. Uh, we're going first. So we're going to keep because we can play Bello Betty on curve. Uh, and search. And we're gonna grab, I think we're gonna grab 5 cost Ivankov here because we can play that on curve as well. And uh, pass turn. Very interesting matchup. Uh, I'm not sure what type of support they get. I guess they get the, the new Dadan, which is basically the same, uh, uh, worse version of this, but you can play both. And they get another couple cards. We have Dragon here, that's really good. Uh, gonna set us up for a, for a very uh, lethal turn in couple of turns uh, hmm I guess we'll do this it's not optimal but 
There are nothing. He takes it. He's doing what Law does best, sitting on a bunch of cards in hand. We'll see if he swings. Oh, he's gonna... Okay. He's getting all his bodies out of here. Oh, God. Well, he has nothing to swing with, at least. Yeah, they get another Searcher here as well. Okay, so they get another search, uh, Supernova Searcher. He grabs uh, <laughs> the Jewelry Body Searcher. Interesting. He doesn't swing. Okay, so he has some kind of clue what's up. Uh, we're going to play Ivan Cobb here and hope we hit Ivan Cobb. We do. So this is the nasty combo you can do since set 6, right? I know I didn't do a video in set 6, but basically when you have two things to boost, you can play this Ivan Cobb and hope that you hit uh, the good I the other Ivan Cobb here. And then use that to bring out something. Uh, so now he's in trouble here because he's going to have to use a lot of cards out of hand if he wants to defend this. Um, and he's basically, he's basically going to have to use the blocker as well. Uh, I think. I think he'll end up using the blocker for sure. On this swing. If he doesn't, he's just a dead man. Okay, so he's just a dead man. Um, interesting how he knew not to swing. But he doesn't seem to know when or when to counter and when not to. Because um, I definitely think he should have used his block here. Because now I, he, I'm just going to have lethal next turn. Uh, we're just going to end up discarding this uh, dragon. Which is a little unfortunate. I would like to play him. You know, see how he feels. But that is going to be the case a lot of times. Sometimes the game is going to be over before you even get to 8th dawn. Of course, this time around it happened because I went first. Otherwise I would have gone to 8th. But... Uh, we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna let all these guys go because uh, I have uh, these here anyways. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit awkward if he does have some kind of removal here. He's searched for the blocker law. Could potentially get down like three blockers this turn, which would be really bad. Yeah, and then he brings up the body again and drops maybe a veggie. Or another chopper, you know, some, some kind of blocker I would recommend. Because there's going to be a lot of pressure. Grabs a searcher and another 2k, okay. So he's, he's got a pretty stacked hand right now, I can imagine. I mean, it's very typical of Law to, to just have a bunch of 2k's in hand at all times. He's used one, but he's also played one Machino. So he has one Machino in hand and one Otama, so we know it. Is that much and he did have the chopper okay uh we can discard this instead of dragon and then keep dragon for next turn we could also play salvo off of this maybe maybe that's better seven dawn one two i mean i think it, i think it's pretty obvious we should try to push for lethal here at least making him use his blockers and i do think we ditch the dragon to keep the, to drop the Sabo down for, for the, with the, uh, with the Ivan cover here. We're going to use just that. We're actually going to activate this too, to get a life. And we're going to take our top life. And that's another thing here. Maybe I could have sequenced that differently so that I could have drawn this, kept the dragon. Um, but, you know, it's always, always easy to... Uh, Think of those things after after things has played out, but yeah, probably should have attached here, played, drawn a life, discarded this. That way, I could have kept the dragon in hand for next turn. Definitely, definitely the the right play there. Forgot kind of, you know, these are new cards, all right. These are new cards, new deck. This is the first time I'm playing with this, all right. So so misplays are gonna happen. Uh, most likely, he's gonna block this. He might go ahead and do a block here and Rad Beam or Guard Point. Uh, he, he clearly seems to have uh, something in his hand. Oh, he's going to just flat counter. Okay, that's uh, ballsy. There goes the Cavendish. That's interesting. I think we just swing 8 again. We can actually play both of these as well if, if we wanted to. We're going to swing 8 again. I think what the play is just to play, swing 9-9. Uh, nine, nine. And play Morley. Or play Cracker. Right? Or play... Or play Morley, right? Yeah. Maybe we play Cracker. The thing is, Morley has no counter, right? So you don't really want him in hand. But I'd rather have Morley in hand, I think. Because... Man, this guy's crazy. 
Now I don't want to attach anything. Now I just want to play both the Cracker and the... The thing is, if I go here, he's just going to block. But if I go here, he has to block at least, and he can't just take the life. So I think you definitely go here. And then here, I think you go here. Shit, I actually can't play both of them. Okay, I guess we'll go here again. Get rid of another blocker. And then we just play the Cracker. Because he's not going to have lethal here, he only has two cards, you know, the only way he's going to do something if he has a bunch of searchers, but that event searcher is not going to be enough. He draws into set one law, that's not going to do anything. Bonnie is good, he can recycle that actually. But he's not going to have enough dawn to, to get value out of it. So, uh, let's see. wait, what did he draw? He drew the Sorrow, uh, maybe he can do things here. Don't think he has lethal still. He needs four attacks so he can do one, two, yeah, maybe. I'm just gonna defend this. I don't really I don't think it's that deep. He's not gonna he's not gonna get lethal anyways. Yeah, so he's gonna play here, he's gonna swing, he's gonna get that, and then he's gonna bounce back, he's gonna bounce back to the Dadan. Uh, and actually, yeah, exactly, yeah, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that he can bring this up, bring down the Soro again, get rid of the Ivankov. And then the question is, is he gonna swing in here? He should. Uh, I guess he doesn't know that I'm counterless, but I'm clearly counterless, so he should swing here. Uh, but I doubt he's gonna, and I guess we'll see if he feels confident being able to defend four swings. He has to defend one of them. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's basically a, that's a good trade. And we top deck the Inazuma, baby. Let's go. I am number one. Uh, we're gonna swing seven. He's gonna take it or block, and then we're gonna swing big number here. Uh, way too big number. Yep, and that's lethal. Uh, so I didn't actually need to. Uh, you think? Oh, he has Sabo in life as well. Yeah. Well, that was sick. Uh, Interesting how Red Green Law has changed. It's, uh, it seems like they don't play Nami anymore. Wish I could take a look at it. Oh, they do play Nami still. Okay, he just didn't draw any. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the explosive power of Bellabetti. I mean, this is just an aggro versus an aggro deck, and I'm pretty sure Bellabetti is the most aggressive and the best aggressive deck in the format right now. So interesting to see for sure. Uh, let's hop into another game. All right, we're up against Boa Hancock, a new leader. Interesting. Uh, this hand is kind of nutty, actually. Uh, Inazuma is one of my favorite cards. Bello Bed is great. Uh, Ivan Cobb is great, so we're going to keep it. And we are going second, so that is great. Uh, of course, she has uh, some, some control cards last time I checked, where she basically um, plays the... What is it? The... the Six cost Boa at bottom looks like one cost. Like she's gonna get rid of my low cost very easily. Um, other than that, I don't think she has too much too much going for her. Um, I think I think I mean she has five lives, not great for me. But then again, I don't think Blue has a good boss monster, so I think they're just gonna be. I think it's just I think I have the. Yeah, I, th I don't think they can sustain long enough for, for uh, with Chiller. So here, Morley or Sabo. We're going to grab Sabo, actually, because Morley is just not, not a great card. Uh, interesting how you can actually grab yellow cards now with Villa Betty. You haven't been able to do that. You could, you could technically do it after the Three Brothers starter deck, but uh, the Revolutionary Army cards in that deck is just ass. Uh, so this is like the first good yellow Revolutionary Army card, so very nice, very very good addition to the deck. Now we actually we're actually just gonna take this though. Ow, wow, sweet! Uh, we're gonna throw one of the Ivan comps because I have too many. He's gonna play the Duval. There's a lot of deck stacking going on here. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Back to back stacking, and that's a great draw because we can play that off the Ivan comp. And we're gonna play the pretty standard routine here. I wish that was Karasu, but it's not, so we're going to have to just play it slow. Normally here I would swing 5 first, because 
I like to swing my lower numbers first, because in case they had like no counter here, and now maybe they drew into a counter. But I know blue plays a lot of triggers that uh, that bounce or bottom decks like low costs, like three here, like Morley, and wouldn't want that to happen. So therefore, we uh, sequence differently. Uh, we're gonna let him have that one. I'm thinking of defending this one. I think I will. With. So I usually should use Sabo here, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use Sabo. Um, these are just too good. These are just way too good. Uh, kind of hoping to draw into a Bello. Uh, no, a Dragon. A Dragon would be sick now because next turn we got these, and then the turn after, uh, a Dragon would be really sick to have. I mean, shit, I, am I, am I just gonna win now? Is that it? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna, am I, do I boost here? I don't think I do. Because then I would have to top deck a revolutionary army next turn to boost, to get value here. Uh, maybe I just play it slow like this. Oh, actually, I should have swung with Lindbergh first because uh, he could, yeah, because he can get rid of this blocker, right? Didn't think about that, but neither did my opponent, so everything is fine. Uh, we're gonna swing five. Yes, five active dawn. What is Bro doing? Oh, that should have been a six. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what this guy did. Uh, I guess he must have had a really dead hand. But he had the... I don't know. But leaving 5 active dawn up is crazy. And he just... Uh, he gives up. Yeah, so he had... Yeah, he had... But he could have... Ugh, never mind, man. This guy... I, clearly his first time playing the deck. But uh, we win. We would have had that game either way. Uh, we could have just gone... Uh, next turn we could have got um, Dragon here. We would have had such a power play that it would have just been over. Very, very strong start, for sure. And if game. Alright, uh, we're going up against Lakers Croc. Um, he's going second, so we're definitely going to keep this hand here. Uh, because uh, Ivan Kov on curve is so strong. And we're even going to grab this Morley here, I think, because we can play that on our next turn. Uh, so definitely, definitely a strong uh, start here for going first. He passes. Uh, so you need to realize they have things like Miss Wednesday, they have, uh, Oka well, I think it's Okama Way, that's the good counter card. Uh, so, so a lot of that is, is interesting. I could actually counter out here, but I think I'm going to take it. We're going to get a Morley, that's very sweet. Uh, so now we have three characters to boost. Uh, but we're going to play Iron Con first. Uh, oh, that's not great, but it's alright, we're going to get to search. Hmm, two turns away from Dragon. I think I just grabbed a 2k. He can become a 6k. Yeah, so we definitely grabbed a 2k here. Try to try to defend our board, I reckon. Because uh, I don't think we're going to get far enough into the game to have value in, in, uh, in Dragon. He takes the 5k, interesting. Because he's going to definitely take these two as well. Yeah, so definitely definitely the good call not taking Dragon. Uh, he's going to be in a bad spot here. He's going to swing, what, six? Yeah, I think it's just over. It's very sweet. That's what I was, I'm, I'm saying. It's like you can get so much value so fast if you get the first going first curve right. Like going one, three, and then five. And then your board is full and he struggles. He's going to swing seven. And this is what I mean, I'm, I can counter out of this, because I grabbed that 2k, right? Unfortunately, he's in 7 again, and we can't counter that much. But he's gonna need, yeah, that's not gonna, that's gonna do, not gonna do him anything. Uh, so I do think that we just swing here. I don't think we play anything. Would I rather go deep or wide? I think I'd rather go deep. We're gonna start with 7. And we're gonna go eight. He doesn't have it. He does not have it. I don't think he can have it. 
Eight, nine, ten. Eight. Yeah, he doesn't have. Sh wow, what a hand! Only one K counter in this entire hand of eight cards. All right, yeah, that that can happen when you um, when you run into these yellow decks. They play a lot of counterless cards, right? Especially now with the addition of Ace. Um, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, GG's. Uh, very fast game. What was I on? Seven Dawn. GG's. All right, we're up against uh, Boa. We're gonna go second. Since that's generally our curve. I think I keep this for sure. Uh, we are missing a bunch bunch of key key options, but we're gonna draw two cards uh, until we it's relevant, and we're also gonna get one search. So we're gonna have three cards uh, to see. There's a Karasu, that's a key piece. Uh, if we can just find an Ivankov here, we can't. Ooh, it's not great, but we do have the double in a Suma play for turns uh, for the R6 on turn, which can be pretty strong. So I think next turn is basically just Karasu or Lindbergh. And then on three, we're gonna do oh, on six, we're gonna do doubling Azuma. And then on eight, we're gonna do Dragon, and it's gonna be a wrap, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna need at least one more revolutionary army. We're gonna take this. Oh, there's the Ivan call. Wow, okay. Uh that's re why would you play this? Wow. Uh okay, well, we're gonna just Discard the dragon now, right? We're never gonna need double dragons. Bring out the Karasu. Pretty standard stuff here. Get a bunch of 2Ks out of his hand. And he already uh, he already played a 2K for some reason. I'm not sure what... I guess this is like if I was playing a low to the ground below Betty, then maybe this has the value, right? Because you can swing and then keep it in hand. But uh, I don't think it's gonna do what he wants it to do. Wow, and he triggers this, so he bottom decks my Ivan Cobb. That's pretty rough. And that's why you make sure you use the Ivan Cobb effect before you swing so that you can make sure that you get that value because it can be really rough if you don't okay yeah makes sense we got a 1 2k out of hand and he won damage in that's really rough wow okay so he brings back the 2k and now he has a huge board. Okay, so this is really what the Boa matchup is supposed to look like. Wait. Wow, okay, so that's why you play the Pudding, because when you use Pudding's effect to bounce back to hand, you get to draw a card from the Boa ability. I see. Wow, that's sick. Um, I'm in a really awkward spot here. I think I still take this. Do I? No. I don't think I do. Uh, I think it could end up being really awkward. What's with all these dragons, dude? I don't need you. All right, but see, here we're gonna be able to do some things. Hopefully he doesn't trigger something right here. Sweet, 7k. He's gonna have to double 2k out of something here, I think. I think, I definitely don't think he takes this. No, exactly, so that's the double 2k, and then another 2k here. But of course, he has just so many cards. Uh, this basically becomes a draw one, but since you bring this back to hand as well, it's like basically two dawn plus one, right? So that's pretty pretty sick. And we're um, he's gonna board wipe me here. That's expected, right? Because we have like no hand. Like the thing is, now I want to throw the Lindbergh, right? But that's going to make him just end up playing this. But I guess that prevents the 6 cost play. Because I'm basically forcing him to swing here. That's going to prevent him from playing the 6 cost Boa and locking, I think, my leader. Oh, he still does that. Okay, uh, that's not great. And he bottom decks his searcher to get a, another. Uh, Boa is such an interesting deck. I definitely think it, Boa, is, Boa is pretty strong. This still restands. That's really bad for him. Does he have lethal next turn? He's gonna be on eight. He's gonna be on nine. Uh, five. Yeah, he definitely has lethal next turn if he wants to. Maybe we just play some board. Go for board here. If I take off one of his swings. Hmm. 
This is a really, really good card. Like, I'm thinking, I obviously want to play the dragon, right? I can swing 7 and 9. But do I go for board, or do I go for life? <sighs> Will he kill me next turn? I don't know if he sees it. That's the thing. I, I don't think he sees it. That's something you need to consider when when uh, when playing these these types of matchups. Is that he? They usually generally don't see that they have lethal, right? But uh, I definitely still think I go for board here because uh, now he definitely doesn't have lethal, and he'll still need to to like play another boa to to make sure he keeps value here. Wow, okay, that's, yeah, you can do that too, that works. But at least he can't take care of this now. But he does establish a blocker. And get another card from this. Wow, that's a very sweet deck. I'm gonna take this. In hopes that I trigger something else. Nope, okay. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take this in hopes that I, yes, okay, okay, now there's hope. Uh, I think I end up ditching the Ivan copy here, because this at least could go into, like, an Inazuma. This has like no value for me, right? Because uh, so I'm gonna have to wrap things up this turn. All right, let's see. Yeah, now he's he's. I'm thinking that he's a little bit worried now. But he doesn't have any more dawn. I'm basically in a sumo or dragon away from winning. But I have three dragons in trash, right? Yeah, it's not gonna do me anything. I reckon I. I, I... Yeah, because I need to find an Inazuma. So I need to play this and I just hope that I hit it. Could try to get rid of this, but it's like at that point I'm still just. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't think I have this. Don't think I have this. I guess I'll try to get rid of, rid of this. I just don't I just don't have any other any other outs. I still think I lose, like, even, even if I get rid of this, but I... Uh... Okay, he blocks it, which makes me think he doesn't have the counter to defend this, at least. And now I don't think he, he goes for the kill, right? Because what can he do? He can swing... 8-9? Yeah, he can swing 8-9. Which is lethal. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, he, hopefully he doesn't see it, but... Uh... He doesn't see it. Sweet. Okay, but I'm still in trouble. <laughs> he still just wipes my board here. Um, but I have another chance to draw into uh, in Azuma, but uh, I didn't. Okay, so but now he's in the same spot where he probably doesn't even realize that he has lethal next turn. So he probably just swings. Uh, what is that? Eight eight. Take Karasu. Now he has to, now he has to realize that he has lethal or he's screwed, right? He could do another, like, Gravity Blade Tiger, tiger, tiger into a, uh, into a, um, a blocker, right? And then he still has me, but, uh, hopefully he still doesn't see that he has the lethal. Yeah, because he can do 7-10, like, it's, it's, there's no shot, he, like, but he has to see it still, you know? He has to realize and he doesn't even do, he goes for this, right? And that's because he has a blocker, I reckon. And this is like my way to get past blockers. But I'm gonna go, I'm still gonna defend it. Because he's gonna be forced to attack into this, with this now, basically, right? Which limits his option. Oh, wow. Okay, and he plays the, but the block, yeah, he doesn't see it, he doesn't see it, wow. He doesn't know that this can just ignore this, right? I think we still play this in case off. Uh, I mean, now we drew S, but uh, I guess we'll grab the Karasu. We're gonna just discard it anyways. So definitely maybe not the right play to play right there, but if we... 
if the game doesn't end right now. But it does. Because uh, he doesn't realize that Morley ignores uh, blockers, it seems. Or she just didn't have any options. So we managed to pull that out of her ass. Wow. Uh, really far behind that game. He had lethal multiple turns in a row, but he didn't see it because they usually don't, like I said, they usually don't see the lethal. Uh, and because uh, it's unsuspected, right? They don't go, oh, he has no cards in hand because we're not supposed to have no cards in hand. Uh, but we go down a hand size so fast, so they don't even realize that we're blowing cards. But uh, yeah, great game. Uh, that's really, really interesting deck there with Boa, for sure. Um, I think I'm gonna hop into one more game and then we're gonna wrap this up. All right, Jewelry Bonnie. I think this is the best deck in OPO7. We draw as, great. Uh, we actually have this on curve though, so it's not that bad. But uh, yeah, definitely the hardest hardest matchup I've heard. Uh, well, not hardest matchup. Best deck, and I think it's the hardest matchup because they can just rest everything, right? Uh, I guess we're gonna play this, this, do this, do this. Because we can't allow her to just keep getting cards. He's gonna swing five, we're gonna take it, we're gonna trigger out a Satori. Uh, I think we had to throw this at Tori here, unfortunately. It's rough to get like two, two Ks out of hand, but it's also really good. Oh, yeah, you see, now I don't understand how you played this, right? Because no matter what he's taking, hey, he's taking... He's resting something, the second I attack. Which makes me think I don't want to boost. Maybe I grab the Bonnie here, uh, the Bello Betty Bello here to like keep hand size. I'm I'm not sure about this matchup at all, but I still think I grab this. But we're gonna just play the the way we usually do, and see if something happens. Like if if it if I'm able to change something, but I think it means that I swing my biggest numbers first, right? Because he would just rest her otherwise, right? He would have rested Satori, but now he's gonna rest Koala and not get... Oh, he rests the Karasu. I disagree with that. I definitely disagree. I understand, like, trying to get rid of the threat, but but being in... I don't know about that. Uh, but maybe he, maybe he knows this matchup better than me. Because uh, I for sure don't know this. Cavendish, really strong card. Eight into Karasu. Yeah, so the Karasu is gone for sure. But it's like, I still have three characters out now, and I'm going to be able to play another one of these. <sighs> so this is a little bit rough, because I want to go into Ivankov, because Ivankov is a great card. But I, my board is going to be full anyways, right? So it's not going to give me the same value as it would normally. But I think you just grab the Koala. Now, I guess you still grab this, right? Because it's still a 5k. And then I reckon you throw the... the Sabu here, right? You don't want to get rid of the Karasu. He's gonna rest Satori. We're gonna swing six. He's gonna 2k out of it. He takes it. Okay, interesting. Like, yeah, you see, that doesn't make sense. Like, why would you counter out of this attack instead of the other attack? Unless he has no two Ks in hand and he just drew this Apu from uh, from life. But I doubt that. Uh, so maybe he doesn't know the matchup or maybe he doesn't know the game. This is really bad, right? <laughs> because now he's risking two characters per turn. Uh, oh, actually, no, never mind. Okay, so this, when it's removed, risks a character. Okay. But it means that he has a... He has a, another blocker out. So he has double blockers and this resting ability. So that's three swings that I have to get through. I'm going to counter out of this, I reckon. For sure, right? Just make, keep, my, keep my board big. Keep my... What he swings with this blocker? Now I don't think I keep it. Because I definitely don't want to risk not having any revolutionary armies to discard next turn. So that's four dawn left. So that's probably another... Yeah, another row coming down. But yeah, we can still do this. We're gonna go down to zero, which is definitely scary. But I think he's still in a kind of an awkward spot here. So I have a lot of Dawn. Do I swing 10? That's two Dawn up. I think I swing 10.
There's two blockers, right? One, two. Yeah, so he's... I don't have lethal here. But we can swing... 10... And 11. So we're gonna get, at least get rid of both of his blockers, right? Yeah, that's only effects. Okay. Yeah, that's good. We have literally, literally no cards, but he doesn't have lethal here unless he plays Hody Jones, uh, <laughs> which he might. Uh, but if he plays Hody, he's gonna have three dawns, so he's gonna be five, six, seven, eight. He does have it if I don't draw a single 2k, but he, that's not realistic, right? Uh, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna have to just let everything go here, right? So yeah, no cards in hand. But he's gonna have to establish, like, multiple blockers. Or, like, do some kind of removal. Have a shit ton of 2k's, that's one, but... Is that enough? I'm not so sure. But yeah, like you, like, like you can see, this game is really drawn out, right? I'm gonna be at 10 Dawn, which is like unheard of when you play Bella Betty. Uh, basically, it basically doesn't happen. And he establishes two blockers, but he's not able to get rid of this. But he has three active Dawn. Luckily, I did draw the piece that can oh wait he can rest yeah he can rest so i'm um, this is not lethal yeah probably just means i die right maybe i don't even boost here maybe i play it maybe i play it and pass No, there's no way that's it. Play it, draw a card. Does he have lethal then? Yeah. But maybe I don't, maybe I don't boost. Maybe I just swing. Eight, eight. Can swing, he's gonna rest something. So I think this is just eight. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not good. Maybe I should have boosted. The thing is, he has two active dawns. So I'm just thinking he has like a, like a spider web. A spider web would make so much sense here. doesn't okay so he definitely faked the two dawn we're missing like all of our rushers like if we had dragon that turn it would have been over if we had inazuma that turn it would have been over but like we're missing all of our all of our key cards maybe that's the no they would not have been to draw a card <laughs> but he hopefully doesn't see lethal here either he sees lethal okay that's not good <laughs> Can I, can I live? Oh, he doesn't go for it. He just goes for board, which is uh, fine, because he still wins. <laughs> Lame. <sighs> wow. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is going to be the hardest matchup, which is why Bello Betty is kind of lacking in this format, because this is the most played deck. Um, I don't know how it's going to look in the West, but uh, in Japan, this is the most played deck, and it's obviously a real struggle. Uh, for Bello Betty, but uh, it's not unwinnable by no means. If I had drawn, uh, well, this is ass. If I had drawn the uh, 
what's it called? The Dragon, the Inazuma. I would have had this game locked down. I know he has like 20 cards in his hand, but I'm pretty sure I still would have been in a good spot had I uh, drawn the cards I needed to see. But I didn't. So he wins. But for sure a winnable map. Winnable still. Definitely winnable. I definitely don't win this, but it's winnable. <laughs> What is he doing? He's playing so defensive. Like, brother, you have lethal. And now if I trigger something out here, I win. You're so lucky. You're so lucky, dude. If I trigger something out here, I win. Damn. Oh, he, had, he wins, actually. Never mind. Lol. <laughs> Imagine I had a handful of 2Ks. I still would have lost. Okay. Well, fuck, man. <laughs> a good game. Good game, though. Good game. All right, we're up against another Bonnie. And he's going second. I think I'm going to keep this hand. So we're going first, right? So on three, we can play this. We can technically play this on five. No, I think I mulligan. Do I? Oh, it's so hard to say. No, I'll keep it. I'm crazy. We'll see what happens. So... I don't know if this is the same player, or it's just another Bonnie, but hopefully this matchup goes a little bit better than last time. I had a really strong early game last game, but... Oh, that's perfect. Thank God I kept his hand. Uh, I'm swing 5 here. Doesn't get any value from leader ability. And then we're just gonna play. He takes the first, which is great. Uh, because maybe he doesn't realize that we have all these rush options now. We can... I was hoping we'd trigger something out. That's not good. But I, th I still think we do this. I'd like to grab Lindbergh. If I had a Koala here, I would have grabbed Lindbergh for sure. But I definitely think it's, it's Karasu now. Uh, don't think I boost, right? No, we're gonna swing five. Could have also passed here, uh, not swung anything. But uh, I think it's definitely worth getting the cards out of hand. Uh, even though he gets to rest my character rights. Because we... Did we draw another Ivan Cobb? What the, what the hell, man? Okay, so but he's gonna probably swing 7 into Karasu here. Which, frankly, we can counter out of. It's not that deep. Uh, we can throw we can throw Karasu, maybe. I want to keep the Inazuma, because it's just a strong... I think, I think I defend here. I think I do. I, th I really do think I defend here. That's, that might be a misplay, might be a, oh, and he swings, but I have another Sabo. Uh, okay, so that's probably not the right play from my end, but I don't think it's that deep. Uh, we're going to play another one of these Ivankovs. Oh, damn, maybe I should have taken the Lindbergh next, last turn. Wow, okay. I still think I do this, because I can still get rid of this uh, blocker if I do. Do I boost here? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna swing like this and then mine is here. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We're gonna keep swinging here. I said, like I said, the thing is like, yeah, I can boost, but realistically I'm not getting the value of my full boost, right? Because he's gonna rest something. So definitely, I think, I think that was a good call not to boost there because I want to keep both these rushers, right? Dragon's gonna come in real clutch here, for sure. Because he's gonna start doing board wipes now. Uh, he can do two characters here, yeah. But then next turn I'm still gonna have a lot of cards that I can play around with. I can play the dragon. We can swing like 7-7. Seven, seven. We, we can do a lot of stuff next turn. So maybe the, maybe the way to do it is to try to keep going, like actually try to keep some board control, like some board presence. And uh, try to, yeah, try to try to not let them keep their characters going, because they just keep getting value. I'm gonna have to let that go, unfortunately. Not worth throwing both of these for. And he sees the Bonnie. The Bonnie sees the five cost Bonnie. What does this? This locks rights. Yeah, this stuns. 
that's not good. So here I'm gonna see, I'm gonna test him here. Okay, we're gonna swing. We're gonna swing with lead at Bonnie. We're gonna see if he rests something. Because when he do and he does, we we can now boost differently, right? We can now boost this dragon. Uh, Instead of boosting the the rest, this Ivan card is just gonna get rested anyways. We're gonna get a lot of value here. Uh, I think what is this? Uh, six, seven, eight. We swing into we swing into uh, Cavendish here for sure. Because uh, we're applying a lot of pressure here, and this is just gonna keep giving him uh, extra dawn to play around with every turn, and uh, we can't have that. I uh, cannot have that. He's thinking here. He's thinking. I'm thinking you're gonna let this go, dude. Wow, and he does the event. We have one Dawn left to play with. So I guess we'll swing 10. Then we're gonna swing here. Pick life. Sweet. So now he doesn't have a good board. We have board advantage. He doesn't have that big of a hand. He's down to two lives. Pressure is on him for sure. Uh, if he drops 10 cost of Flamingo here, I think he just wins, but uh, we can hope and pray that that's not what we're seeing here. Uh, Koala's gone. Uh, that's pretty obvious, but that means that this is... Oh, yes, okay, so no 10 cost of Flamingo. We're gonna have to let this Ivan Cup go as well, unfortunately. Okay. Whoa. Uh... That's fine. Didn't have a card car to play, so that's good. I could chill a turn here, I think. No, why would I do that? Let's just go all in on this guy. I mean, it's rough that he has that extra dawn, for sure. But he can rest something, so I'm going to swing here to 12. 12 into 8. Let's make sure that we get rid of this. By swinging 14 into 8. He's gonna rest this 9k swing. I probably had lethal here, right? But I don't think I don't think that's worth going for. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 into this maybe? Guarantee it. Sweet. And a six face. And now it's like, now you're in trouble, because now you don't have any board presence at all. Could you imagine that Bello Betty and Bonnie matchup ended up looking like this? I bet you could not imagine. That's the kind of tide turner that Dragon is. Uh, he, really, he really does swing, like he's a, he's a combat card for sure. And uh, it's really nice to see, really nice to see. Of course, if he did have the Doflamingo, the Tenkos Doflamingo, we'd be in trouble. But he didn't, which means uh, good news for us. Oh, and there's a stun. Ah, we draw ass. Okay. We can play both of these and pass. But we have to swing into this actually, so I guess we'll swing here. He's gonna rest our leader. And then we'll just play both of these and pass, right? Gonna have to do something here. He can definitely get rid of the dragon now, which is bad. But uh, not even 10 cost of Flamingo is going to save her, save her now. Well, yeah, it is. But, <laughs> okay, let's hope it's not a 10 cost of Flamingo. He swings at life. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure we just win. What? Okay, let's hope we draw a revolutionary army and there's still hope. Let's go. Okay. So we definitely just play here, swing and swing. We have three swings, two because of this, but if both connect, it's game. So we swing with the bigger ones first. Nine, 10, 10, 10. I can swing 10, 10, 10. So let's do that. No, he's gonna rest something. Let's not be stupid. So, 
10, 12, maybe? I think it's 10, 12. Wait, he didn't rest. Oh, he doesn't have a dawn. What am I doing? Oh, I mean, okay, so it was 10, 10, 10. I forgot that she needs a dawn to rest, right? Oh, and he had a dead hand. These are bricks in this matchup. Yeah, so that was rough. But yeah, so not an unwinnable matchup. Prove it right here. We can still win against Bonnie, which means we're st we still have a place in the meta, especially with this new dragon, especially uh, with five cards in Asuma. Uh, Five cost Ivankov, and especially this new promo promo Sabo came in really clutch this matchup with having a two another searchable two K counter that you can discard for leader ability. Very fun match, very fun games, uh, all in all, all the games, and uh, just this deck still still the number one most fun deck in format. I think Boa is really fun. I think uh, Op Zero One Doflamingo is probably up there for sure with the most fun decks. But Bello Betty keeps just being on top with both like being fun and being able to actually contend uh with with just the 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 raw aggro strength uh that we see so gd's to everyone and uh that's it for me and i hope to see you again next time bye